Always remember, you're someone's reason to smile, because you're a joke. Pick me. Choose me. Love me. When you come to the masjid, you pray two raka'a nafal ka tahiyyatul masjid before you sit down. Get up. Let the sunnah go forth. The sunnah go forth. <laughs> Sadhuni, please send help. SOS. Salam alaikum, beta. Beta, did you do the dishes? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. beta, let's see. Be beta! You didn't do the. Beta! You said you'd do the dishes! I'm gonna dish you! I'm gonna put my dick in on it! Beta, no! No, 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 no camera, no camera, the protection. My name is Luis. You can't drive fast, it's illegal. Illegal only when police there. Police not there, Habibi, everything legal. Whenever I tell people I'm Muslim, they'll be like, oh my god, when did you convert? Never, babe. I've been born a Muzzy. No oink oink for me, baby. <sighs> Hand me the black him out. she's beautiful hundred times and she will never believe it but tell a woman she's fat once and she will remember it for the rest of her life because elephants never forget hey boys That one person after Maghrib prayer. Ah! Ah! 
You're joking. You're joking. أتقبلهم الناس لست أقلدهم إلا بما يرضيني كي أرضيني سأكون أنا مثلي تماما هذا أنا فقناعتي تكفيني ذاك يقيني Seeing my husband's reaction to me eating when I should be fasting Good water When will he realize? Still waiting. Moment of realization. Yo! Woo! Why, why are you drinking? Woo! Why are you drinking? Are you what? <laughs> are you fasting or not? It's not time yet. Why are you eating? I won't judge you, I promise. <laughs> are you, I don't get it, okay? Perky. Stop oh, fucking! Yeah. Stop! Stop! في رمضان في رمضان يا جماعه وصلت للدرجه دي Why you did that? I didn't see Why you did that? I thought Why did you did that? I... Why? I just... No no why you did that? That's right because you're a fucking idiot man Quit don't quit Noodle This video is for everyone that thinks that I'm a man if I was a man, I wouldn't be able to do this today. So I hope that confirms that you're in denial. I'm very much not a male. Thank you. What you looking for? We got what you looking for. What you looking for? We got what you looking for. What you Dog, one sip. No one's gonna see you, bro. <laughs> bro, so not even water? Sorry for being a jerk. I decided I'm gonna fast tomorrow and make up for it. Six and a half hours later. Sorry, bro. I couldn't do it. I would have died. <laughs> Rock on. Yo, Allah is actually testing me differently, bro. Every single day, I get the same exact dream that I'm scoffing down food. And then I wake up in a cold sweat being like, oh, my days I'm fasting. Bro, tell me why last night I had a dream that I was literally scoffing down sensation crisps, bro. It's a long day. Allah is showing me my true desires, bro. I'm a greedy guy, I swear. Don't trust me. Oh, when Muslims watch shows. Oh, whoa. No. What about this? It has a Muslim character. Okay, let's watch it. Hey, is it time to break your fast? Yeah, thank you. I'm going to take this off Don't now. Don't forget to say Basmala. Uh, what did we just watch? Did she break her fast with vodka? I think she did. What are we supposed to watch? Well, there's Asha. What is Asha? It's a Muslim streaming service for Muslims by Muslims. Here, let me show you. You've got a variety of different shows for kids, for adults. They've got documentaries and my personal favorite, food. Obviously. Oh, wait. We don't have to cover our eyes while watching stuff anymore? Not anymore. That means we can watch stuff with our kids again. Kids. Okay, how about we test our love? My Egyptian love with Moroccan girls. Could be best friends. Of course, I'm gonna like, yeah, 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 get friend zoned, uh, like usual. <laughs> How about Palestinians? Please, I love Palestine. Free Palestine, please, don't, don't fret, don't. I, I, like I was just saying, don't friend zone me, now we're best friends, okay, yeah, no problem. How about Lebanese girls? Shu biddik, amut fiki, ya habibit omri. How eh, 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 like, am I, am I, am I gay? It looks like it. Okay, how about Egyptian girls? Like, I already did them so many times, but it's still, look, yeah. Best friends. Alright, bro. I don't know. How is this? Al Zubilla, we have seen the evidence. You cannot escape anymore. You are finished. Al Zubilla. He wants to marry me. <laughs> Your favorite soccer player. Ronaldo, okay, okay, you're on the good. We're on the good team, okay. Okay, and stop, and stop. Raise your hand if you like Messi. Hands down. Raise your hand if you like Ronaldo. Okay, we got. Okay, we got some competition. I just want you to know that Messi supports Israel. Yeah, that's 
Yeah. 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 No, Messi's Argentina. Yeah, but he gave money to Israel. I know. Yeah. Ronaldo yeah. loves Palestine. He donated one point three million dollars. Uh huh. Okay. Me. Astaghfirullah. 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 Bro, everyone keeps telling me to grow a beard. Bro, I can't grow a beard. I can only grow like here and here. I'm gonna look like the most. I'm gonna look like the most Chinese person you've ever seen in your life. One time I did grow it out and it got like that long. Bro, I was on the bus and some girl was like, You look like Master Shifu. It was peak. Hey, Dad, did I break my fast? Oh my God, we're doing this again. So I was driving when all of a sudden I looked to my right and there's this restaurant with pictures of burgers all over it. I couldn't control myself, so I took a ride and perfectly parked between two cars all by accident. So. Did I break my fast? No, yeah, yeah. As long as you didn't eat or drink, you did not break your fast. Okay, good. But then I went to the counter just to look at the menu, nothing more. Oh my However, God. I suddenly got a call from my friend and he was like, Tonight we're playing Minecraft. What's your favorite animal to hunt? And I was like, chicken. And then he said, cool, what size is your house in Minecraft? And I said, large. But the cashier thought I was talking to him, so he gave me a crispy chicken sandwich with a large Pepsi. So, did I break my fast? Did you eat it? Well, not yet. What do you mean not yet? So I was like, no, I can't. I'm fasting. I can't eat. But then he said that I was actually the hundredth person to come in the store for the day. So that's why he's given it to me for free. And of course, I couldn't just pass up the offer on free food. So I decided to take it and hide it for iftar. So did I break my fast? No, you didn't. You're good. But then as I was walking out the store, I felt the sudden push from behind. I tripped and fell and the box opened all by itself. The burger flew up all the way to the sky. I fell and hit the back of my head on the ground and then the sandwich directly fell into my mouth. I looked to the side and the Pepsi can opens and the drink swirls in the sky all the way to my mouth along with some buffalo sauce. So, did I break my fast? Struggles only Muslims understand. Ramadan edition. Making wudu is not easy. Tara Wee. If you know, you know. What are you doing? Look at that crunch. I'm just watching food videos. Uh -huh. Trying to eat food on those days. Oh, you're eating food. I'm telling I'm eating, I'm eating. Yeah, the dinner's almost ready. Wait for it. No. AYV. Don't touch me before it's done. Dear diary, this Ramadan's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do all 30 fasts. I'm gonna do all of my prayers. Yeah. No. That was a heavy iftar. I need to work out to burn this off. Hey, I know the perfect after iftar workout. For real? Yeah, I'll show you. Come to my masjid. Not gonna lie, but these guys are flexible. But I think I'm at the wrong masjid. <laughs> <laughs> so I almost got scammed. <laughs> but it was really funny, like I'm not even mad. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I just moved to New York and like I'm apartment hunting, right? And like, you know, apartment hunting is a little bit of a female dog. You know what I mean? I can't cuss on fast. Before moving here, all my friends in New York told me the same thing. You do not move here until you tour the apartment. And I was like, why? Now that I'm here, I get it. The landlords are treacherous. Damn. So I've been touring like one to six places every single day, right? And I've since I started looking for apartments, I found this one apartment in an area that every New Yorker tells me it's chill. Every non-New Yorker tells me it's like not chill. So I kind of wanted to see it myself, right? But I never got the address. Today, I got the address. I go to check it out, right? I take the subway. I get there. The subway station next to the place, so clean. I've never seen a subway station that clean so far. Wow, you know? I walk out and even the streets are clean. I was like, yo, like, this is crazy. Like, this place is stunning, right? And then I'm walking towards, like, the apartment three minutes away. So close. I walk to it and I'm like, yo, the apartment building is stunning too. What's the catch? It's really cheap. There's no way. And I already had pictures, right? Like, I've seen the pictures. I, they have AC. They have heating. They have everything. I was like, bro, this is kind of rare for New York. They even have an indoor, like, washer and dryer that, like, I can use for free. I don't have to pay for electricity, Wi-Fi, anything. Bro, like, tell me that's not a catch, right? I'm outside of the apartment. He tells me to go upstairs. I go upstairs. He opens the door. Funky ass smell. Damn, like, I can't even call it a bad smell. It smells funky. Like, hot air has been trapped inside with not a single window being opened for the past six years. <laughs> Disgusting. But, like, it didn't smell bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was still trying to convince myself, like, this is okay, right? I look at the landlord, because, you know, I was just like, I don't know. He's supposed, like, I'm supposed to have a roommate, so maybe he's the roommate, right? So I look at him, and I'm just like, oh, okay, this guy's, like, six foot, um, white. Locks. 
Anyways, I go ahead with the tour. <laughs> He lets me in i walk down this hallway i walk past like two locked doors and a curtain weird in the hallway it's weird and then i get to the room and then it looks exactly like the pictures no problems right once we finished the room i was just like oh it's great he's like okay time to leave basically and i was like wait wait wait. like what about the bathroom he's like right 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 bathroom i check out the bathroom bathroom's great right and then he's like telling me to leave again kind of and then i was like wait wait, wait. what about the kitchen he's like right the kitchen the kitchen so i was in the kitchen the kitchen's cool and then i was like what about the living room <laughs> He looks at me in all seriousness and he goes, what's that? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so I say it's an extra room in the house that you can hang out in, invite friends over, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, we had a room like that, but I put a curtain and turned it into my bedroom. I was like, what about that extra locked door? He's like, oh, there's another person living there. I was like, that wasn't a part of the description. He's like, well, yeah, the landlord comes with the property. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? So I was like, you know, if I wanted to invite friends over and just hang out, we don't have a living room? He was like, well, it would be really weird if you invited people into my bedroom. Do you want every man to look at you when you walk by? You wear the... Who wants every man to look at you when you walk by? I want the girls to look at me and say, Masha'Allah, kus'ukhtik ya haywana. But remember, and then I have the mahbusa fil uda la hadam and nezdi timshi, wa hasur al nafsi zatuna. Lamuna. Whatever. Mish whatever. Lamuna, Zatuna Zayat on Surya. And the Mukan Asher Zatuna Ida. La Lamuna. Okay, Hasra and Nafsi Lamuna. Tell a woman she's beautiful a hundred times and she will never believe it. But tell a woman she's fat once and she will remember it for the rest of her life because elephants never forget. <laughs> When they go low, I go lower. So you claim to be God. You gave me two eyes, but you got one eye. Fix your eye. You're committing zina every day, and you don't even know it. According to this hadith, backbiting your Muslim brother is a worse sin than committing zina. And if you did this, you have to tell them and ask for forgiveness, because Allah won't forgive you unless they do. And on the day of judgment, they will take all of your good deeds. Don't worry, your face protects you from real zina. <laughs> Can you share a bed with? There you go. Can you share a bed with your male cousin? Nope. What about your female cousin? Nope, unless it's a different blanket. Hmm, interesting. What about your father? Nope. Can you share it with your mother? Nope, unless it's a different blanket. Can you share it with your sister? Nope, not unless it's a different blanket. What about your brother? Nope. Different blanket? Nope. Can you share it with your son? Nope. What about Hobbs? Nope. No, what do you mean no? I'm Please. just kidding, you're the only one. I guess you look happier. You do. <laughs> My friends told me one day. Spent the Ramadan day with me, I got changed, broke my fast, prayed Maghrib and had my iftar As I watched the Jannah series by Omar Sulaiman and then I made my coffee Had my coffee and I was off to Taraweeh, Alhamdulillah Once I was done, I went home, got changed, did a little workout And then had my protein shake, then took a shower, made some noodles and watched Ramadan 34.30 Made egg toast for Suhoor, then I had my coffee with Nutella croissants Fed my cat and prayed Fajr, some Quran and got to work Then I took a nap with my cat, then I had a work meeting and prayed Dhuhr Then I did some more work and I was finally done and then I prayed here is your guide to Laylat Al-Qadr. Remember that the night starts at Maghrib, which is when most people lose it because of backbiting or the use of foul language. Pray Asha and Fajr in congregation. As whoever prays Asha in congregation, Allah will write for them the first half of the night in prayer. And whoever prays Fajr in congregation, Allah will write for them the second half of the night in prayer. Pray Qiyam with the Imam and stay until the Imam leaves. Whoever does this, Allah will write for them the entire night in prayer. Stay busy with the short du'as and the best du'a for Laylatul Qadr is Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbu al-afwa 
فَعْفُ عَنِّي And the best form of worship is to recite the Qur'an while praying. So increase in your prayers and recitation of the Qur'an. Give life to the night and remove all distractions. The Prophet ﷺ would tighten his waist belt once the ten nights would approach and he would wake his family up for prayer. He also says والسلام, do not turn your homes into graveyards and leave a portion of your prayers for the home as dhikr brings life to wherever it goes. Be generous and give as deeds are being multiplied. It's like investing in the stock market. Your one dollar can turn into a thousand dollars. So make sure to set a portion for every single night of the ten nights that you would be giving in case it is Laylatul Qadr. I do have a charity that I'm currently supporting in my bio to help feed orphans, so please check that out.